Mr. Trump knows what he has done in the past. I think he has demonstrated a lack of ethics, a lack of principle. I think he has a lot to fear, which is why he <laughs> continues to try to delegitimize the Mueller team's efforts and the investigation overall. I, I, this guy's such a hack. I try really hard not to tell you how I really feel about this guy, but John Brennan always pushes me to the brink. He is the former CIA director who for years has engaged in witch hunts against former President Trump at a borderline obsessive rate. Now, shortly before that MSNBC appearance in 2018, Brennan and President Trump had this Twitter exchange. Brennan called the former president, quote, disgraceful and lectured him to, quote, clean up his act and act presidential. All because Trump called out the mainstream media for their BS reporting about Russian collusion. Rightfully so, of course. And we know how this story ended, of course. Trump was completely vindicated while Brennan and a slew of other officials were exposed by the Durham report for pushing the Russian collusion hoax, even after they knew it was completely false. It wasn't legitimate at all. Unbelievable. Take this very revealing passage from the Durham report as an example, quote, when Brennan was provided with an overview finding a lack of evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russian authorities, Brennan offered that, quote, they found no conspiracy. That was in the summer of 2018. But as we just saw, in no way did it deter Brennan from his unconscionable smears against, former, against uh, now former President Trump. Well, joining me now to discuss New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew, member of the House Judiciary Committee. Sir, welcome aboard. It's great to be with you. Thanks for having me on. All right. So I want to talk about Brennan's position, this whole thing. He obviously said some questionably true things to Congress, and yet no charges were put forward in the Durham report as a recommendation. Why do you think that is, sir? Well, I think it's because he is so emotional and, quite frankly, has issues of his own that he found it to his great delight to go after, if he ever is delighted about anything, he always looks pretty cranky to me, to be honest <laughs> with you. But in any event, uh, to his great delight to go after President Trump, he knew it wasn't true. And you're being very kind in the way that you said it, because we're all so worried now just laying the truth out there. The real truth, he knew this wasn't true. They proved it to him. There was no Russian collusion. The Steele dossier was fake. This was set up by Hillary Clinton and others and operatives that were involved. And yet nobody would have the guts to come out and tell the real deal. Mm. And, you know, he should really go through a thorough examination himself and his past and how he's handled being the CIA director. Because here's what I think. Anybody that's capable of behaving that way, the way that he behaved, is capable of putting forth the untruths that he did, is capable of an awful lot. And I'd like a thorough and complete, and may look at legislation to do so, mm -hmm. review of everything he's done in his entire time in the CIA. Number one, he should also lose all security clearance for what he did. You know, one of the first things in the CIA, FBI, supposed to tell the truth. Yeah, well, that, they are supposed to be the arbiters of it. But, Congressman, the bigger thing is the FBI came out in a statement after this whole um, this Durham report came out, said, look, we've put things in place that have been in place for years now and quite some time. And yet they we go back and we find out that he, Brennan was one of the architects or at least one of the signers and in, in pushing of the Russian disinformation regarding the Hunter Biden laptop. So it's like they might have put this stuff in place, but if the people making the laws for everybody or supposed with enforcing the laws for everybody else just go ahead and investigate themselves and find no wrongdoing, what recourse is there? Well, there is recourse. So what we've got to do with Brennan, number one, is any security clearances he has, he should be, he should lose. He, do, he doesn't tell the truth on multiple occasions about very serious issues. Secondly, we should look into, as I said before, his background, what he's done, what he's been involved in. I wonder if there are some real surprises there, because we haven't done things like that before. It's time that we do that. Uh, he's really let America down. Thirdly, with the FBI, there aren't enough checks in place. There isn't enough balance in place. And we need to reorganize the FBI, keep its essential functions there, keep Americans safe, but not allow it to be weaponized to go after good Americans, not after to go after moms and dads in schools, not to go after people who are telling the truth 
not to do something that's purely political, purely weaponized, and really wrong. I mean, we've got to really clean our act up in the United States of America with these various organizations. And by the way, the problem right now is if we do legislation to do it, it gets stuck in the Senate because we have some weak Republicans there, not all of them, but some that will push it forward. And of course, the few Democrats. And of course, the president will sign the legislation because he, he knows that he was protected. His son was protected. All the things that they did wrong, all the money transfers, we go into it all. We're all protected by people who are doing the wrong thing. We've got a clean house. Yeah, I, I, Congressman, I'm totally with you. Congressman Van Drew, we appreciate your time. Come back anytime. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be with you.